we're going to do is figure out how to find the volume of an object like this, which is an irregularly shaped object. And we can't use our metric ruler to help us. So instead, we're going to use displacement. Um, for a smaller object, such as this, that will fit inside of a graduated cylinder, all we need is our graduated cylinder and a beaker of water. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just add some water to our graduate cylinder and just need to make sure that it's above or higher than your object. We need to record this volume. Okay, this is going to be our before volume. Okay, so we're going to kind of get down eye level with it and we're going to try to record the volume and this looks to be about 77 milliliters. And we need to record that. So that's our before volume. When you're reading a volume like this, we need to make sure that we're reading it at the bottom of the meniscus. So if we're taking a look at this graduated cylinder here, which we drew on the board, you'll notice that the meniscus is kind of curved. And we always want to read at the bottom of this part. So if I was reading this meniscus, this reads 25 milliliters, not 26, because we always read at the bottom. All right, so now we're ready to place our object in to our graduated cylinder. When we place our object in the graduated cylinder, we don't just want to drop it in because it's going to splash, or if you have a very dense object that's very hard, it could shatter your graduated cylinder. So we're going to turn our graduated cylinder on its side. We're going to place the object in. We're just going to kind of let it slide down to the bottom. You'll notice that our water level went up. If the water level was, we say, displaced by our object. So now we're going to take our, our after reading. Okay, again, you want to get down eye level with it, you want to read the bottom of the meniscus. So if I get down eye level with this, and I'm reading the bottom of the meniscus, it looks to be about 92 milliliters. That's our after. Now our object it does not have a volume of 92 milliliters. What we have to do is subtract these two in order to find our actual volume. So we have to find the difference of them. So the volume of the displacement is 15 milliliters. Now the last little hiccup we have is that we are measuring a solid object. And solid objects are always measured in centimeters cubed our volume's in milliliters. We need to convert this. So we have this conversion, one centimeter cubed is equal to one milliliter. So the actual volume of this object is 15 centimeters cubed. And that's finding the volume of an irregularly shaped object. All right, so what we're going to work on is finding the volume of an irregularly shaped object that's a little bit larger. So we're going to be working with Jimmy Rollins, and we're going to work with just his head. Now, what we learned in the last video is that if we're trying to find the volume of an irregularly shaped object, we would use our graduated cylinder, and we would use displacement. But you'll see that Jimmy Rollins doesn't fit in to our graduated cylinder. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to be using an overflow can. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. Here's the procedure. First thing you're going to do is you're going to fill up your overflow can until it overflows. important. Whatever you caught off that first overflow, 
you need to discard. Okay? You need your catch beaker to be empty. All right, now my catch beaker is empty. So now we're going to take Jimmy Rollins' head, and we're going to place him into the overflow can, and we're going to go very slowly. If we go too fast, we're going to have water splash out, and we won't be getting a very accurate measurement. So we're going to place him in slowly. All of the water that he displaces is being caught into our catch beaker right now. Okay, so we've caught all the displacement into our catch beaker, and now we're ready to measure the displacement, which is going to tell us the volume of Jimmy Rollins' head. Now, here's our problem. Right now, we're close to 150 milliliters, but we do not use beakers to measure volume. They're not precise enough, okay? We're always going to be measuring volume of a liquid using our graduate cylinder. Now knowing that we have over 100, about 150 milliliters in here, we're probably going to have to fill this twice. So let's get our first one here. It doesn't really matter where I stop as long as I remember my first number. Okay, so again, we're going to get eye level with it. We're going to read the bottom of the meniscus. And that looks like it's at 81 milliliters. Now I can discard what's in my graduate cylinder. So I'm going to place it back into my large beaker. I'm going to fill up the rest of the way with what we have from Jimmy Rollins' head. Take our second measurement. looks like it's about 31 milliliters so what we have to do is we have to add those together So his head displaced 112 milliliters of liquid. That's not his volume. Because once again, we come back to this, all solids are measured in centimeters cubed. So we're gonna use our conversion. One centimeter cubed is equal to one milliliter. So his head is actually, has a volume of 112 centimeters cubed. And that's how you find volume of a large irregular shaped object.